What's going on people of the internet? I'm at a super cool spot today, right beside a creek. And, uh, and I caught a couple coho uh, a few days back. Great way to start the morning. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna cook that coho over a fire on a rock. So we're gonna stone fry some coho salmon. So stay tuned, it's gonna be awesome. I'll uh, show you those fishing clips and then we'll get right into getting the fire set up and cooking it. Sweet, let's do it. A little fin on the back, you can see is a wild. This is the size of a lot of these that are in here right now. Let him go back. God, that water is clear. Try and do this all pretty fast. Whoa. Oh my God, this was a horrible spot. Oh, there's no way I keep this fish. There's no way I get him. He's going crazy on shore. Oh, fucking, I'm falling everywhere. But it's a huge wild. Oh, that thing's a tank. Buried in his lip there. All right. We'll get that out of there. It's a beautiful wild. That's there. Look at that thing. Total tank. Let him go. Wow. That is a wild. Look at that thing. Almost looks like the exact same fish as last time. Okay, get that hook out. No hatcheries for me, but this is a lot of fun. Here you can see wild. And we'll let him we'll let him run free here. See you later, boss. Linked into a beautiful about four pound hatchery coho, perfect size, eating coho right here. You really don't get much better than this. We'll get it cleaned up and then we'll start a fire like later tonight or another day at some point when I feel like eating fish. Alrighty, so the uh, the coho is filleted, and we're gonna go find a stone that we can uh, that we can cook it on uh, over a fire. So that's step two. I gotta find a stone. Then I'm gonna put on the fire, and then we're gonna fry this fish up on the fire on a stone, which is gonna be pretty cool. So I'll see you there. So we're just getting the uh, the fire started here. We're gonna start chopping some wood. This wood is so dry, it's just cutting like butter. First step is to make sure the fire started, make sure it's nice and hot. We need lots of coals to put the rock on, so. I got the salmon in my hand here. The fire is going beautifully now. So I'm gonna go walk around here and try and find the, uh, the perfect rock to, uh, to cook the fish on. I could cook it on this, but that's not flat enough for me. I know there's a lot of flat rocks um, on riverbed. So I'm gonna dig around, try and find the perfect rock that, uh, that we can use. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep walking around. I'll, I'll find something sooner or later. Oh, that's too small. Put this on my head so I can do some digging. Oh yeah. After about 10 minutes of looking, I actually found the perfect flat rock on the bottom of this stream. This is going to be ideal to cook on. Look at that, it's going to be the perfect cooking platform. Unreal. As the coals prepare here, I'm getting, the, uh, I'm getting this rock, you know, dried off, starting to kind of warm it up, just kind of putting it near the fire here. The fire is just starting to die down a little bit right here. The rock's heating up real nice. And we're getting closer to cooking time. Um, this looks really good. We got the, uh, the coho fillets all chopped up and ready to go. We're just gonna put a bit of oil. It's got olive oil, steak spice. I like that on my fish and some pepper. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna chuck those. We're gonna oil up the rock and then chuck the fish on. So we're getting pretty close. So we'll grab the olive oil and we are going to spread the olive oil onto the rock. Oh, that's a lot of oil. That's okay. So we're getting a lot of oil here. 
And we're gonna just spread it all over this rock, okay. So that rock is getting nice and oiled up. That rock is already screaming hot from just sitting near the fire. Well oiled rock. Let's see, I can touch that side. And we're gonna pop it right onto the coals like this. Now we're hoping that this doesn't break or burn. So like any fish, we're gonna start skin side down. And we're just gonna get it cooking right away. There we go, skin side down. We're gonna put some steak spice on the fish. There we go. So this is actually working really well. It looks like I can see the oil starting to bubble around the bottom of the fish. It's a pretty, pretty thick chest piece of coho salmon, so it's uh, it's gonna take a little while to to cook through. Since the skin side is down, we don't have to worry about burning the fish at all, so we can just let it frickin' fire. And the skin gets charred, no big deal. The skin can get absolutely, absolutely uh, burnt to a crisp. It'll still peel off and the meat will be really good. So it kind of acts as like a tin foil or, or a protective layer on the one side um, of the salmon while it cooks, which is awesome. So you can run it on the non-skin side for as long as you want before we do the flip. The flip is gonna be pretty interesting. You can see the edges are really starting to burn. They're getting cooked. I didn't bring a flipper, so they ain't have to flip the salmon with an axe. I didn't even bring any utensils or anything, so I'm gonna wash the axe head off. Nice and clean. We're gonna try and flip these. I got the, uh, I got the axe here, and uh, I think that's gonna be the best bet for the, ouch, for the, for the flip, because I don't have a flipper or anything else. I hope these rocks aren't too hot so I'm not burning my hiking boots. Yeah, that might work. That might just work. Ouch, it's hot. Oh no. By moving this, I'm crushing our stove. Oh, jeez. This is not good. We're having a bit of a, we're having a bit of an issue here. The whole table is on an angle. So we need to fix that. There we go, there's one, one piece of fish flipped. Oh, there, it's kind of cooking on the skin there. Pull that skin out of there. Ouch. Ouch. Not looking as pretty as when we started. That's okay. That is A-OK, -okay. it's gonna taste good. Flip didn't go as well as planned, but we'll rock still hot. Some more salt and pep. Now we don't want this side to burn, because this is the open side now. So we gotta be a little more mindful of the fish now. Looking okay. Time to take this fish off. We're gonna lose a little piece there. Got a nice little table I found recently. Fish piece one. Not quite staying together. Number two. Oh! Lost a bit of number three. Well, that one's kind of gross.
So here we go. Here's the finished product. I think this turned out really, really, really well cooking on that rock over the fire. I really can't believe it. So it's time to do a, time to do a little taste test here. Let's see how this coho salmon tastes from the, the river onto the fire. Cook it on a rock. I'm really impressed with that. It's just as good as a pan. Super excited, so gonna give this a try. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna test this stuff. I can't believe this ax works so well as a flipper. That was awesome. But here we go. This, these two fillets actually look quite amazing. So dive into the, uh, the prettier ones first here. Cooked right over the fire right on the rocks, you really can't beat it. Oh. You can taste the smoke in the fish. It's got a really smoky flavor, the salt, the pepper. It's so good. Who would have known? This is so delicious. We just can't beat it. Beautiful fire, beautiful place to be, and a beautiful meal. Mm. Well, I'm gonna scarf all this down, and then I'm gonna get everything cleaned up. Got a lot of work to do. That's three big salmon fillets to eat, but it ain't gonna be a problem. That was wildly successful. Um, I'm super pumped that it worked. Got to wash this axe off and wash the uh, wash the little wood eating dish here off. Um, and then we're we'll gonna hit the road. I'm cleaning up here. I'm a little bit of a ways up a logging road. So we're gonna have to head down before it gets dark. That was awesome. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I, I can't believe that worked so well. Uh, let me know if you got any other ideas or ways I should try cooking fish, and I'll uh, and I'll give it a go. But until next time, get out there, go do something fun outside uh, this week, and uh, I'll see you in my next video.